Uh, we do also have a wonderful problem here, which you probably know is everyone wants to speak at the Broward GOP. <laughs> Since we're the largest in the state, and by the end of tonight, the break will have featured every Republican candidate that has run, is currently running, and, and will run for the U.S. Senate nomination against Bill Nelson. So, we schedule our speakers months in advance, and since we already had keynote speakers for this month and next, and the primary is in August, we've given U.S. Senate candidate Marilena Stewart 15 minutes to speak. She has requested that you ask her questions about her campaign after she has done speaking, one-on-one -on -one in the back. Then we will hear from Dave Weldon, who is also running for the U.S. Senate nomination for Congressman Dave Weldon. So, Mary Elliott Stewart, please come forward. Rewards 
illegal behavior. It makes it possible. the persecutions and the hunger that we suffered under the communist in Cuba. I assure you, ladies and gentlemen, there is no other candidate running for the U.S. Senate in this race with a record like mine of fighting against communism and socialism both here in America and in Europe. I published a popular series titled The Beijing Affair, and I titled it The Beijing Affair because there is a love affair between Washington, D.C. and Beijing. And I expose how American companies are sharing our innovation, our technology, with the communists in Beijing. And the communists in Beijing are turning it into military power, both horizontal and vertically into space. And as we sit here, they have electromagnetic pulse weapons at the ready to be pointed at our aircraft, should we ever become involved in a conflict with Taiwan or anywhere in the Asian theater. And yet, we see Barack Obama, we see Hillary Clinton, we see Geithner bowing to Hu Jintao in Beijing. Hu Jintao, a communist murderer. Ladies and gentlemen, when the greatest nation on earth bows to a communist murderer, that is the face of socialism. economically, and any economist will tell you he who controls Eurasia controls the world. China right now controls 95% of the world's uranium resources, which means that when we turn around and we finally can access our energy resources and we want to expand nuclear energy, we will have to buy uranium from the Chinese. And they're moving now towards thorium. As you look across the world to the Middle East, ladies and gentlemen, there is no other candidate for the United States Senate with the deep understanding that I have of the farcical parliaments of Tehran and Damascus. The deep understanding that I have of the collectivist mentality behind the Islamic world and how this collectivist mentality has joined forces with Marxism. Because when you look at the Knesset and the Palestinian Authority, I assure you that in the Palestinian Authority, every member from Mahmoud Abbas down to the last member is a Marxist. And this collectivism from the Islamic world and this Marxism is coming towards us. It is not just simply going to throw Israel into the sea. Along with Israel, they will throw the Maronites of Lebanon, the Christians of the Holy Land, and the Coptics of Egypt. And as we have seen with the elections in Morsi winning, with a Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt, we're entering a dark period. They can basically control the Suez Canal, ladies and gentlemen. We are facing a catastrophe. You need a United States Senator in Washington that understands deeply what is happening behind the collective, collectivist mentality in the Islamic world, in the Marxism that has joined forces with them. I have declared a war against socialism. I will not stop. And that war includes that we dismantle, expel the United Nations. <laughs>
more sustainability fees and sustainability clauses being imposed on our farmers. And our farmers can no longer keep up with this socialism that is coming out of the EPA. There is no other candidate for the U.S. Senate with a record like mine of fighting against sustainable development right here in Florida. Yes. 
Dedicated, former Clemson, Dave Weldon. Please come forward.